Good afternoon traders, this is Kevin Craney with RJO Futures with your afternoon financial market update. Markets trading mixed on the day and then rallying a little bit here at the end of the day. Really we get a mixed picture on economic data coming out of the United States today. And I think a lot of that's attributable to Hurricane Sandy on the East Coast. Really just a major slowdown on the East Coast and that's skewing some of the numbers that are coming out here. So I think traders certainly have to take that into consideration. And markets are taking that into consideration somewhat. We saw jobless claims, weekly jobless claims spike. And certainly we have some people displaced from jobs on a short-term temporary basis. And I think that's probably what you're seeing in the data. Albeit you take that number out and, and you factor that in, it really is remaining about the same um, on average for what we've seen over the past four weeks. Uh, when you look at some of the manufacturing data that came out, we had the Empire State manufacturing data out was worse than expected. But again, I think you have to attribute that to some uh, other of the storm effect as well. Uh, really, when we look at things this morning, we're, we come in and we face a situation over in the Middle East. We read more about what happened yesterday uh, uh, with the uh, strikes from Israel on Hamas. Since there's a lot of rhetoric going on. Um, and so that's something that I think traders are paying close attention to. Uh, if that situation would heat up more and escalate more, I think you may see more money come off of the equity side and push back into the treasury side. We saw those treasuries butt up against those highs yesterday, uh, meeting some resistance levels, having a tough time breaking through, getting some momentum to break through. But if escalations would, would, turn a, would turn a little bit worse in the Middle East, and I think this would be, would be something that may propel the 30-year and the 10-year treasuries uh, uh, higher as people seek a little bit of refuge in treasuries, we'll probably see a little bit of benefit in the dollar as well as it would be more of a risk-off environment until we understand exactly what, was gonna, what might happen in that particular region. In Europe, again, we have finance ministers who are meeting over Greece whether there would be additional aid for Greece and that's always a concern at this particular point in time. Um, so we continue to watch Greece. We saw a continued contraction in the, in the European economy from GDP data that was out this morning. So that's certainly something that doesn't bode well for an economy that is already reeling from numerous bailouts and, and really no clear solution to the problem. Uh, for the long term, so I think that that's on traders' minds as well as we look for as we looked at today, but not only today as we look forward to next week, and how that will drive capital into different risk markets as well. Please give me a call at 888-596-5817, and we can discuss these opportunities and others. As always, remember, futures trading is not suitable for everyone and does carry a high degree of risk.